residents and welcome back to another video update for our city departments during the COVID-19 pandemic. Today with me, I have Derek Schuler, our Director of Public Works. So first, I'd want to say hi. It's good to see you. Uh, I know it's been a few days or a few weeks, I should say now, since I've physically seen you. <laughs> good morning. How are you, Tori? I'm doing well. How is everybody over at Public Works? How are you and your family? How is the staff and their families um, managing throughout this entire uh, transition that we've been dealing with? Well, I'm grateful uh, we're all healthy, Tori, and, and I'm appreciative of that. It's, uh, it's been a big change, obviously, with the new uh, working conditions for all of us, but um, I'm, I'm grateful that, that we are healthy and, and we're making do. Good. I'm glad to hear that, especially because, you know, they are definitely, you know, similar to public safety and the fact that, you know, they're out and about and, and definitely immersed in the community. So it's, it's good to hear that they're, they're healthy and they're safe. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So can you kind of share with us now with the latest, or not the latest executive order, but with Whitmer's executive order of stay home and stay safe, what does that look like for your department and in terms of operations and how you guys are functioning given the nature of uh, this disease? Sure, sure. So we really have um, two groups, Tori, uh, at the DPW. We have the office staff and then we have the field crews. So the office staff, uh, we're essentially uh, working from home and we have full uh, computer access from home. Uh, the, the main DPW phone number 248-658-3490 is uh, during working hours uh, answered every day. Uh, so residents can still call us uh, with questions using that phone line. Uh, and we're obviously all checking email as well. So the office team is primarily working from home and, and able to do many if not most of the, the tasks that we would do on a traditional basis. From the field crew perspective, it's a little different and we have moved to an on-call operations plan with our field crew. So what that means is we are uh, only calling in um, our crews for urgent matters and for um, emergency issues, things that we do need to address. Um, again, we're doing that to protect the safety of our workers as well as the safety of the public as well. Um, you know, we have a small field crew, so it's important for us to keep them healthy so that they can address uh, those urgent matters uh, when they arise. So, and they will be working and, and we will still have a presence. We still have a presence in our community. Uh, so you will see DPW crews, but we are trying to uh, keep them separated so that we can keep them healthy during this time. Oh, that's great. That's good. And, you know, especially now that spring is coming around the corner, I imagine, you know, that's going to be transitioning from a seasonal approach, or at least what the duties will encompass. Um, so keeping them healthy is very important. Yes. And, and we've got them working. Um, we've got staggered teams, Tori. So we have uh, essentially two teams uh, in our field crew. Uh, again, another level or layer of separation to try to keep uh, the workers working in those teams, uh, again, to try to, to maintain a workforce during this time. So, and I, I am pleased to report we are healthy and uh, we're staying home, staying healthy and, and only coming in when we need to, to address emergent matters. That's great. And, you know, obviously kind of jumping to a little bit more residents. I know we've been kind of talking back and forth how this impacts um, as far as, and I know that we utilize a third party service for this, but um, the, uh, our waste, uh, you know, for waste management. Could you kind of talk or share about that? I know that some of our residents are concerned, you know, given the nature of this disease and then trash on top of that. Um, could you share a little bit of detail regarding that? Sure, sure. So I've been in contact with uh, SACRA, who is our authority for garbage and recycling, and SACRA hires the contractor that picks up our trash in Berkeley each week, and that's Tringali. I've been in contact with both SACRA and Tringali, and, and they are picking up uh, garbage and recycling just as normal. So there have been no changes up to this point uh, with trash or recycling. So uh, residents can continue to put those out. I know that right now with spring uh, here that there's a lot of questions about uh, yard waste bags and pickup. And that is uh, still scheduled as planned the first full week of April, Tori, for the start of yard waste bag pickup. So that is still uh, happening as scheduled. So 
you just put out the bags on your trash day starting that first full week in April, April 6th, essentially. Great. Well, thank you for that little tidbit. I know that our residents are appreciative of the work that you guys do um, and still keeping us going. I'm happy to hear that everyone's healthy and you guys are really practicing uh, social distancing as much as you can. Um, is there uh, any other updates that you'd like to share or where people can go to contact you if they have more questions or concerns? Sure. Well, let's start with the contact. Um, again, just to reiterate that phone number, 248 six five eight three four nine zero and that's uh monday through friday during working hours if you have an emergency after hours uh obviously contact public safety dispatch and they'll be able to uh, reach out to us and tori we do also have an email address publicworks at berkeleymish.net again publicworks at berkeleymish.net uh, residents can email us using that email as well so um, and I would like to touch on a couple of other things, Tori, if I could, just a couple really? updates. Um, Consumers Energy is working uh, in town in and around 12 Mile. Uh, their crews are continuing to work uh, through this process, so I wanted to let residents know about that. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on is um, the 12 Mile uh, Road Commission project. Uh, as far as I know now, is still scheduled to uh, take place later this summer. So I will maintain contact with the Road Commission and provide any updates that I get regarding uh, that project. I believe the bid opening um, for that big job is, is supposed to occur here within the week, Tori. Uh, so we should have some more information to share about that project um, with our residents and businesses very soon as well. So um, just, you know, DPW is here. Uh, we, we do have a presence. We are around the city. Uh, we do have a responsibility when it comes to mistakes and, and other, you know, priority type items, Tori. So we are going to be around, out and about, and um, we'll get through this thing together. Great. Well, thank you so much, Derek, and thank you to your team. We definitely are very grateful to have such a great staff um, here with us at Berkeley. And, you know, you guys stay safe, okay? Will do. We're very proud of our public work staff. Thank you, Tori. Yes, thank you. Stay up to date with us uh, as we continue to kind of navigate this uh, virus and we'll definitely be in touch and I'll see you guys at the next video. Have a great day and stay safe, Berkeley.